Good Saturday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster with Rowan County Weather. As we take a look at the radar around the area, you can see we've got clear conditions out there right now. A few areas of what could be some light rain showers up toward uh, the mountains there just south of Boone, maybe even some patchy fog up there uh, in the in the valley. So uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on it. But as we go through the day today, we'll have cloudy conditions and then by later this afternoon, around 5 p.m. and into the evening hours, we do have the risk for uh, showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong to severe, but a lot of that's going to depend on how much sunshine we see as we go through the day today, creating some instability in the atmosphere. If you're heading up to North Wilkesboro today to watch the truck race and the qualifying uh, and the pit crew championships and all that, that got kind of postponed until today, except for the truck race that was already scheduled for 1 p.m. today. Uh, weather looks pretty good. I think they're going to be able to potentially get that in uh, without any interruption. And then the chances for the all-star race tomorrow are increasing as well in terms of those uh, those are the racing activity there at North Wilkesboro on Sunday to be able to get in. We'll have more on that in just a moment when we talk about the forecast. Let's go ahead now and take a look at the uh, forecast for today's Cheerwine Festival. If you're heading to downtown Salisbury, Cheerwine Festival going on today. At 12 p.m., we'll have cloudy conditions out there. Temperatures around 74 degrees. Around 3 p.m., cloudy conditions continue with temperatures around 78 degrees. By 6 p.m., rain chances and thunderstorm chances will certainly be a possibility with temperature around 76 degrees and a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. And then by 9 p.m., temperatures are going to be around 66 degrees with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Rowan County weather is going to be there. We're going to be on site providing weather updates to the event organizers. We'll be in the command center along with uh, emergency services personnel uh, being able to give updates to them directly so that they can make announcements at the stage and at all the various speaker systems that are going to be located throughout the city of Salisbury to give you an update on being able to get into shelter at least right in there or right there in that uh, event area. So certainly uh, keep that in mind. If you were on the fence about going to the festival, there are certainly plenty of places you can go into stores. Uh, there's also some shelter locations. Uh, if something were to happen and, and we need to uh, get you into shelter for a thunderstorm coming up or anything like that, certainly plenty of areas that uh, you can uh, seek shelter in should a thunderstorm come up and you were planning on maybe going for the evening hours. But I certainly would not let the weather stop you uh, from going to the Cheerwine Festival today, if that's what your plans were. We do have a marginal risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. Again, that's going to really be mainly for the uh, late afternoon and evening hours. Right around 5 p.m., these chances probably kick in. But again, that's also going to be very dependent on how much sunshine we see around the county today. Uh, because if we get the sunshine out there, it will create instability that will help fuel these storms. But if the cloud cover stays persistent, it will actually decrease the potential for these storms to be strong. So, again, we'll continue to keep an eye on it and keep you updated. Rowan County weather is going to be at a lot of events over the next, uh, really for the next week. Uh, today at the Cheerwine Festival. Tomorrow we'll be at the All-Star Race in North Wilkesboro up there uh, covering the race. Not only will we be covering the race, we'll be providing you if you're heading up to the race with weather updates. But like I said, things are looking pretty, pretty positive for getting the All-Star activities in tomorrow for sure. Much better than they have looked for the last couple of days. We'll be at the NC Education Lottery 200 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Race on Friday at Charlotte Motor Speedway. The Bet MGM 300 Xfinity Race on Saturday at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And then, of course, the Coke 600 on Sunday at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And we'll be providing you not only uh, updates about the racing action, but also keeping you up to date with the weather if you're planning on heading to the track. We're also going to be interviewing drivers and, and, and crew chiefs and anybody we can talk to down there. And we'll be posting those live and keeping you updated on things going on in the garage area and, of course, uh, from the media center as well. Advertising partners that help make Rowan County weather possible, the Lee Street Theater. They've got I Hate Hamlet going on right now. That's their current performance. It's taking place through May 25th, Fridays and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. Sunday, May 19th at 2.30 p.m., Tickets are available at LeeStreet.org. Hall Roofing Solutions. If you've got damage that needs to be repaired or it's time for a whole roof replacement, give Kevin a call, 980-643-4373. KH Trailer Rentals has a spring special going on right now, $125 a day. 
We'll get you a rental for a dump trailer or any of their other trailers. And it's a great way if you're looking to haul off some garbage or debris, or maybe you just got a lot of things you want to maybe haul away to donate or anything like that. It's a great way to do that in very few trips or maybe even just one trip, depending on the amount of items you've got you're trying to haul away. For more details, scan that QR code you see on the screen to be taken to the KH Trailer Rentals website. Patterson Farm has these activities going on right now, the farm spring fun on the farm and pick your own strawberries. For more details on that, you can scan the QR code you see on the bottom right hand side of your screen. And the summer educational tours are already going on as well. And for more details on the summer educational tours, you can scan the QR code you see on the bottom left hand side of your screen. The North Carolina Transportation Museum has all kinds of activities going on throughout the year. This weekend, the train show taking place up there at the Spencer Shops. And make sure that you stop by and check that out. Uh, all kinds of great opportunities to see things if you're a train enthusiast. For more details, scan the QR code you see in the bottom middle of your screen. And then coming up next month on June 22nd, the Fire Truck Festival will be taking place up at uh, the North Carolina Transportation Museum. For more details on the Fire Truck Festival, you can scan that QR code you see on the bottom right hand side of your screen. And then, of course, the always popular Day Out with Thomas. You can purchase your tickets today to be able to take a ride on Thomas and Percy. Uh, you, you can just pop right on board there and enjoy the activities. Uh, Sir Topham Hat will be on hand as well. You can scan the QR code you see here on your screen uh, for more details and to purchase tickets. That's on the bottom left hand side of the screen. William Ryan has multiple companies under their umbrella at 1600 North Main Street in China Grove and the old Grove Supply Building. You can stop by today to get details on William Ryan Flooring and Supplies, or you can check out their website, williamryanflooring.com. Give them a call, 704-857-2415. If you've been doing a remodel and it's time to make things pretty and you're looking to purchase maybe some flooring or some tile, or maybe you uh, want to get some paint or anything like that, William Ryan Flooring and Supplies can help you. Again, check out the website and uh, give them a call for more details. William Ryan Enterprises, if you're looking to do a complete home remodel, custom home build, or maybe you're just looking to do a, re a renovation or remodel in a certain room or portion of your home, and you want someone to do that for you, that's where these guys come in, 704-798-9494. They can certainly help you with it. You can scan that QR code you see on your screen. And it'll take you to their Facebook page where you can see pictures and videos of current and previous jobs they're doing and have been doing uh, with William Ryan Enterprises and William Ryan Flooring and some Supplies. And now, of course, William Ryan Roofing. If you've got a uh, existing roof that has damage that needs to be repaired or you need a whole roof replacement or maybe you're getting a custom home build by William Ryan Enterprises, well, William Ryan Roofing will be doing that roof on your home. They offer services in multiple counties around the area. You can give them a call 704-603-7797 or scan that QR code you see on the screen for more details. Max Roofing is a residential and commercial services roofer. They handle insurance claims, emergency services. They fix roof leaks. They offer free inspections. They're locally owned. Max-Roofing.com is their website. The phone number is 704-412-7663. Again, that's Max Roofing, a residential and commercial services roofer. So keep that in mind. Not only can they fix the roof on your home, they can also take care of the roof on your business or office as well. Again, the website, max-roofing.com. The phone number is 704-412-7663. And you can scan that QR code you see on the screen for more details. As we take a look at the forecast, again, if you're heading out to the Cheerwine Festival today, or maybe you're heading to Charlotte FC at Bank of America Stadium tonight, uh, we'll see mostly cloudy skies today, 80% uh, chance of showers and thunderstorms really again as we get to around 5 p.m. this evening. And then uh, as we go into the evening hours, those chances will start to to dip down as we get later in the evening. But uh, I'd say the best window for opportunities for showers and thunderstorms, probably between somewhere around 5 and 9. Uh, so certainly stay weather aware if you're going to be out and about in any of the activities going on uh, around the uh, county or the area. Uh, as we go into the afternoon, late afternoon and evening hours, really. On Sunday, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies for the day. I have 69 with a low of 60. Rain chance is down to 20%. Uh, so we'll certainly keep an eye on that and keep you updated. Like I said, if you're heading up to North Wilkesboro for the race, we're going to be up there providing updates uh, from the infield there uh, throughout the day. Uh, we'll be talking to drivers, crew chiefs, all that, posting all kinds of information for you. Also, the weather. Uh, keeping you up to date on that as well. So certainly check that out. 
And then for the first half of next week, we've got dry conditions. Partly sunny skies on Monday, high of 75, low of 60. Tuesday, sunny skies, high of 79, low of 60. And then on Wednesday, we'll have partly sunny skies with a high of 82 and a low of 63. As we get toward the last half of the week and we start to focus on the racing action at Charlotte Motor Speedway, we do have a cold front that's going to be coming in that could provide some isolated shower and thunderstorm activities, at least for Thursday and Friday. So we'll certainly keep you updated on that. The forecast is sponsored by S.A. Sloop Heating and Cooling. Built on integrity, give them a call, 704-857-5684. You can visit their website at www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with the Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website at www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, X, Facebook, and Instagram. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Saturday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.